What's going on YouTube? I'm finna show y'all today how to do a door skin or how I do door skins. I got the Sienna here, got hit in the side. Just gonna need a door skin on the front and on the rear sliding door. Tools needed. Little angle grinder. Belt grinder if you got it. Hammer. Little seam buster. Heat gun or a torch. I usually use my torch but I got it at home. And some safety glasses, the heat guns to uh, heat up the glue and shit that's on the intrusion beams. So yeah man, let's get started. Explain what explain to y'all what I did. I grinded the edges down, ground the edges down until you can see that seam open up because that's really what holds it on. It gets folded over on that lip. Then I used my belt grinder to grind out the spot wells that were right here on both sides. And then there's also another seam right here. Okay, now that I got the door skin off, I'm going to grind out the seam. Get it all nice and clean because I'm going to be panel bonding the new uh, door skin to the shell. And then I'll be reapplying a new seam seal here. So yeah. So now that I got it flipped over, I uh, take a pair of pliers, I grab the old little leftover strip of the old door skin and I roll it and then it'll just start to lift up. seam up, peel it off, Now with a razor blade, I like to trim the old seam seal as low as you can get it, but not all the way. You leave a little bit laying there so you can have a guideline where to roll your new door skin at. But if you do it right, it should fall right into place in the, where the old one was. Okay, got the old uh, door shell ground down. I'm going to be applying some 3M panel bond to it to attach the new skin. I got the new skin edges ground down. That's where the panel bond is going to sit. Now we got to get it uh, hammered over. If you got a door skin hammer, it makes it a lot easier. But I got a little cheat tool too. I got an actual uh, door skin tool. It rolls the seam for you. It makes it pretty damn easy. I'm also going to be putting one part urethane on these intrusion beams and some sound deadening pads so that bitch don't sound hollow going down the road.
All right, I got all the old seam sealer ground out. I got this side already uh, sprayed with self-fetching primer. Now I'm finna tape it up and seam seal it. Here it is all taped up. I'm about to lay a bead of seam sealer down and I usually uh, just spread it with my fingers. For seam sealing, I, I've used everything from 3M to SES, but this, this shit right here is some of the best stuff I use. It uh, lays out really nice. my friends that's how I do a door skin nice and seam sealed no dents no creases nice beautiful gaps nothing popping out hell yeah time to get done on the second one and uh, send it a paint but yeah, I'll be posting a lot more shit like this this year. So if y'all want to learn about bodywork or paint or anything, man, y'all uh, follow me, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. It's lunchtime. Let's scare these old bastards. Lunchtime! <laughs>